Blanche M. Tuhill Performing Arts Center hosts many of the great performances that visit our city. Here to fill us in on their upcoming schedule is Carrie Goldwasser. Hi, Carrie. Hi, thank you for having me. Oh, no, it's a pleasure and an honor. So tell us about what really goes on at the Blanche M. Tuhill Center. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> we have professional performance um, that is brought to us by presenting partners, the likes of which are Dance St. Louis, um, Jazz St. Louis. Um, we work with St. Louis Ballet presents their performances at the Two Hill. And um, we have um, a professional dance company in residence, MADCO. We have um, the Ariana String Quartet is our quartet in residence. There is just something going on pretty much every day, especially given that we have student performances there as well. And um, all of the UMSL music and dance theater students have the opportunity to perform at the Two Hill as well. So who exactly was Blanche M. Two Hill, and how do you get such a, an amazing facility named after you? You have to work really hard to raise the money, <laughs> but what Blanche's vision was really incredible, and she was really able to um, to raise the money for a, a beautiful, beautiful vision, and that was the idea that this this campus community um, really should embrace the performing arts and one of the things that she did was realize that a performing arts center is a place where um, the camp, having one on the campus, it serves kind of as a gateway to the rest of the community. So even if you don't necessarily have another reason to be on the UMSO campus, you would come because you want to come see the Nutcracker performed by St. Louis Ballet, for example. So it's really, um, as the former chancellor, she had this this vision that um, she really wanted to enhance the arts on the UMSO campus. And she's done it by and George, I think she, by Blanche, I think she's done it. <laughs> exactly. Um, our venue actually has two separate halls in there. The Anheuser-Busch Performance Hall is a 1,600-seat theater, and we have the smaller um, Lee Theater, which is... Um, is um, home to the Ariana and Madco and can hold about up to 350 people. So it's a much more small, intimate space that's really a lovely place to see a performance. You made a comparison a little earlier that yeah. I want you to talk about. You said that there's no football stadium there. Well, you, I'm going to let you do it. That's right. So what happens is, you know, Columbia, the campus on Columbia has the football stadium, but you know, UMSL, we, there's, you know, there are sports, but nothing as big as Mizzou's football. And basically we look at, and I like to think of the Performing Arts Center as kind of our football stadium for the campus, and that it brings people in, gives them a reason to come and visit campus. Sure, and I've actually been to quite a few events at the Two Hill. It's easy to find parking. You don't have to pay for that. True, and it's a beautiful place, um, you know, that's a park-like setting because it's a college campus, um, and parking, as you said, there's plenty of it. It's free. It's very easy to find your way. We are extraordinarily close to a Metrolink stop, so it's all very easy. Well, I know that you do some commu you allow the community to come in there, too, because I have a daughter who sings in a high school choir, and they've even performed at Two Hill. It's not a bad seat in the house. You know, you're exactly right. And it's going to sound like a whole bunch of marketing mumbo-jumbo from me, but I've really been in the house and, and even in the larger 1,600-seat theater. And I've taken the time to sit in many different areas within the hall. There's really not a bad seat. So, you know, if it's a performance, I always tell people if it's a performance that you're kind of on the fence about uh, about coming to see, don't let one of the lower ticket prices prevent, you know, make you think, oh, I'm not going to be able to see from all the way over there. It's only a $25 ticket. No, you'll absolutely be able to see and hear everything. It's a beautiful way not to bad, try something new. No, right, not a bad seat in the house. We have to take a quick break, but you have some tremendous events coming up that I want to talk about, and you have some great pictures mm -hmm. that we've got to share with our viewers. We will have more with the Two Hill Performing Arts Center after this. Stay with us.